Well guys, another day, another scrap pickup. Ah, uh, they gave me the big iron today. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Now, a lot of this is just scrap steel, which I don't normally get excited about because, well, steel isn't worth that much. But there is a lot of aluminum here as well. But there's a lot of stuff here that actually works. This hydraulic lift unit down here, it's practically brand new and it works. The people I picked it up from had just discontinued the project and they're throwing it out. This thing's worth a few thousand dollars. And like I said, it's practically new and it works. That dispatch oven over there, that's worth a few thousand dollars too. And it works. And then there's just all kinds of smalls I got over here. Just crazy amount of small stuff. Uh, I got three microscopes, three binocular microscopes. I hope between the three of them I can put one together and make it work. That'll be worth some money. Just all kinds of stuff. Some Lumetrics laser gauging systems. May or may not work, but you know there's a lot of aluminum here and I'll bet there's a lot of nice electronics inside. We'll see. Oh, it's a computer. Yeah, so there's going to be good stuff inside. I see a floppy drive. I see a DVD drive. So, yeah. Okay, I got a couple of these. So, uh, nice. All right. And there's just all kinds of stuff. There's some more Lumetric stuff there. Just And then I got this, <laughs> this big filing cabinet over here, which is nothing but dead weight. In fact, we were joking as we loaded it that they might have some ex-employee bodies in it because it's so darn heavy. But you know what? That'll help fill out um, a trip to the scrapyard with steel. Make a few bucks. So anyway, what is this doohickey here? Super count. Oh, it's a, it's a scale for counting by weight. I see. It probably doesn't work, which is why I got it. But I will check it because sometimes, you know, they gave me this oven that works. They gave me that lift that works. Sometimes they give me stuff that works. Got another ultrasonic uh, cleaner in here somewhere. I think it's over on the other side. Um, I got six on the last pickup, and three of them worked. This one's looking a little rough, so it may not. And, uh, oh, a whole bunch of brass. Just brass. I don't know what they used them for, but they didn't need them anymore, so they gave them to me. Hard drive. Brand new foot pedal for something. Brand spanking new. Pneumatic operated, obviously. Just crazy. Crazy. There's some more of this Lumetric stuff. Oh, I gotta find uh, indoor homes for the stuff I think I can resell because it's supposed to rain today. And some of this stuff is bloody heavy. So I got my work cut out for me. So let me get this stuff put away before the weather goes to crap. But I thought I'd just give you a quick look at my latest scrap pickup today. Yeah, let me tell you, we were sweating loading this stuff. It's heavy. Okay, I'm going to be sweating unloading it too. Okay, a little bit of follow-up on this last scrap pickup. This big ultrasonic unit that came with a basket works great. All right, so that's going up for sale. Got these two stir units. Obviously, they're working. One's got a little squeak in it. The back one's got a squeak. So, I may have to oil it. But uh, they're both working. Speeds adjust. They have built-in timers. So, they're going up for sale. This Cetra Super Count Scale, which I figured was not going to be any good, actually seems to work fine. So, yeah, that's a beautiful thing. This is valuable. Two cordless phones. I don't know. Who uses cordless phones anymore? They came with their base stations and power units, and they're charging up. So, I don't know. Maybe I get a buck or two for them at a yard sale or something. These uh, Lumetrix units, well, they're basically PCs, industrial PCs. Uh, probably not very new, based on the connectors I see on them, but uh, I need to look these up and see if these resell, because industrial equipment, yeah, it often does resell, even if it's older, because, you know, most companies can't afford to just up upgrade every time a new uh, PC architecture comes out, or a new version of Windows comes out, so 
I'm going to look these up before I tear them down, but I'll tell you what, if I do scrap them out, the cases are all aluminum, not your ordinary PC. They're aluminum. Cool. So I've got the parts here to make at least one complete binocular microscope, all right, because I got eyepieces in one of the heads. Two of the, two of the other heads don't have eyepieces, but there, I got two stands, one head with eyepieces. I got uh, three illuminating power supplies and at least one complete illuminating unit. So I should be able to put together one complete binocular microscope out of this, which should be worth probably a couple hundred bucks at least. Nice. So here's the inside of one of those Veriform units, and I got three of these, and they're heavy. And all I could do to get it up on the table is start taking it apart here, doing an autopsy on it. Had a inside, underneath the uh, side panel, it had a piece of plexiglass, and then uh, it's got two of these boards, it looks like. One on either side of a massive aluminum heat sink back here. Um, down here, will you look at the transformers? One, two, three, four, five big transformers and another power supply with a smaller transformer. No wonder I have trouble lifting this thing. Um, some logic stuff up here. So yeah, I got, I got three of these and they weigh a ton. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna snag a few things out of them. I want that big aluminum heat sink and, uh, some other stuff out of here. There's a, some sort of aluminum box here. I'm going to have to pull that out, too, see what that's all about. See if it's worth salvaging in the other three. Woo-wee! These things are heavy. And, of course, last but not least, got this industrial oven, which they gave to me full of aluminum parts. Okay, nice. Nice little bonus. But this oven... This oven resells for a couple thousand dollars at least. I don't know how I would ship it off to see if I could sell it locally. Same with this. This lift is worth a few thousand dollars. It's brand spanking new. They said they brought it in for a project they wanted to do. Um, their health and safety people look at it and said, no way. Too many pinch points, too much uh, potential for injury. So they just put it on a shelf and forgot about it, and now they cleaned it out, and it's brand spanking new, and it's worth thousands. It's, it's great. <laughs> now I've got it. Wonderful. I just got to resell this stuff, hopefully to somebody local, because they both weigh an absolute ton, let me tell you, an absolute ton. Hard to move. I don't want to ship them. Let me see if I can sell them local. Facebook Marketplace or something. All right, anybody out there needs one of these things, you let me know, all right? We'll figure something out. Okay. All right, well, thanks for watching. If you found this video at all interesting, educational, informative, whatever, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to see my future videos, check out my second channel. Electric Geek 64 is good stuff going on there. If you're all interested in electronics or retro computing, check it out. And I will see you in the next video. And some of this stuff, some of this stuff will probably be getting torn down in future videos because some of it's just junk, but it's full of good stuff. All right. All right. So I'll see you in another video. Thanks for watching this one. Bye.